Hey guys, so today I wanted to create a video on how I reskin Google Play apps. Recently I've been getting some questions on how I reskin Google Play apps because iOS apps have not been as popular recently because of all of Apple's restrictions, like I mentioned in my previous video. So today I want to go over my strategies for uh, doing these Google Play apps. So basically to start off, I have two different strategies that I'm running right now. One of my strategies is exactly the same as what I do in my Amazon ebook. So this strategy is basically um, releasing apps as free and then turning them to paid and letting them stay there and um, earn money. This is a little bit different in my Google Play apps, which I'll get into more later. My second strategy is the same as my iOS apps. So basically I create an app myself or purchase a template, um, reskin it, put it on the store, and then sell it on Flippa for a profit. Um, this is very straightforward and it's basically the same as my iOS strategy. So let's start with the first strategy, which is very similar to the Amazon ebook strategy. Um, so basically the first step here, of course, is purchasing a template or um, creating your own template. So that's going to be the most intensive part because you need to code it or uh, spend some money to purchase one. So once you get off, once you finish that step, you're going to reskin it, which is either changing the graphics or um, changing the UI, whatever you want to do with it. Um, this step is also kind of intensive because you need to do some work here, um, put in some different colors, put in a different UI. Um, I've talked about this before in previous videos, so not too much different from uh, any other apps. After this step, you're going to release it onto the Amazon store. This is where things, or onto the Google Play store. Um, this is where things get a little bit different. Uh, in Amazon, you release the app as free, so a lot of people will download it, then you can switch it to paid, it'll have a lot of traction, and then get into the top charts and earn you money. However, for Google Play, they do not allow you to switch the price from free to paid to kind of prevent this exploit. So basically, if you release something as free, you can never make it paid again unless you create a whole different app. Um, so for the Google Play strategy, you're going to want to put it like a 99 cent app um, from the start. So basically, there's no advantage there of releasing it free and then changing it to paid. But um, this can still work if you create a good app or purchase a good template. Um, so that is basically that strategy right there. Um, once you release it on the store, you just leave it there and then just earn money monthly from it. This strategy can be really good if you kind of get like onto a trend and um, release an app similar to very popular ones on the iOS app store or something like that. Um, this has worked really well for me before. There was this uh, game around like half a year ago called like Crowd City or something um, that was very popular on iOS. And there wasn't a good Android version of it yet. So I purchased a Chupa mobile template, released it on the Google Play Store, and it just really took off. Um, it was making almost like $200 per day at one point. Um, and then Google removed it because they told me it was too similar to the iOS version or something like that. Um, so this can actually make you quite decent money. On to the second strategy. It's very straightforward, even more so than the first one. Basically, you purchase a template or create your own. And um, this is, of course, is the most involved part too. Um, and then after that, you reskin it by changing the graphics or changing the UI or both. Um, basically just switch some things up so it's not too similar to how it was. And then the third step is to release it onto the App Store. Um, basically, you just release it on there, make it a free app, of course, because you're not going to try to make money from the store. Um, so you want to just try to get as many downloads as you can. Um, doesn't really matter if you get downloads either anyways, but um, releasing it as free is the easiest way to go. So once you release it to the store, you basically go straight to Flippa and you create a listing on Flippa. Um, of course, Flippa is not doing as good now because you have to pay a lot of money, 
So you probably want to check out bid packs instead. The link will be in the description below. Um, I've talked about that in other videos, so you can definitely check that out. So list it onto an auction website. Um, and then you just wait for it to sell. It'll hopefully sell for more than what you paid for the template. Even if it doesn't, you can just reskin it again and make profit that way. Um, but basically, you just sell it on there, transfer it once you get the money, and then just do the whole process again. So pretty basic strategies there. Um, those are the two that I'm using the most right now. Um, of course, I mostly do iOS reskins, but over the past like year, I kind of branched out into doing Amazon and um, Google Play more often, and they've seemed to be doing well since Apple has introduced a lot of restrictions recently. So I hope this kind of shows you guys my different mindsets for Google Play apps, um, since a lot of people are trying to get into them more frequently now, since iOS isn't as viable as it once was. Of course, you can still do it, but it's a little more difficult. So I would definitely recommend branching out into Google Play as well if you're able to do it. Um, it's also a lot cheaper to get into. So uh, that is also a very good thing. So hopefully this kind of clears some things up because I've been getting questions about this, trying to answer all of them. So I just wanted to create one solid video right here. And um, so after this video, I'll probably try to do like an actual walkthrough of reskinning an app because I think that could be helpful too, just doing stuff in Android Studio, uh, changing up UI elements, changing up colors, and the process of putting it onto the Google Play Store, because people get confused about that too. So I hope this cleared some questions up, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.